Hi everybody, it's Diane. Can you hear that? Listen. It's sandhill cranes going over, and they must be pretty low. I wasn't quite ready to turn the camera on, but I thought I would so you could hear that. It's pretty cool. So I'm organizing this, and you can listen to sandhill crane. Okay, I think they're fading there. Anyway, this is a glue book session. And this is what I do ahead of time. You can see before I usually turn the camera on. Before I usually turn the camera on? Usually, before I turn the camera on, I organize all this stuff. I have this big, dumb, old stance envelope that I keep everything in. Yeah, you're getting behind the scenes today. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Not really, Diane. Why don't you be quiet and let us listen to the crane? I don't think you can hear them now. Okay. Now oh, there's still stuff in there, my goodness. Okay. Little stuff. Had another Snoopy. Where'd he go? Over there. Okay. I didn't get the books out yet. This stuff is for another project, or I didn't cut it yet, so it's going back. Can't, oh, that can stay. Okay. So it's a collection collection session today. I always have trouble saying that. I should say en mass instead, right? This is the older book, but I did not mark all the pages, so forgive me. That lion go. Got a little lion here. It was a rug, I think. Mm, no, I don't like the way that's cutting that off. Okay. No strawberries. By the way, that dog, that I think it was three sessions. I could never find a place on the dog pages. He's in here now. So you can stop worrying about that. I know you were. Okay, here's some fonts. I have a lot of fonts. And there are fonts in the new book, fortunately, because this is going to fit. Have fun and win. Okay. Gift. Oh, it's the same <laughs> style as that. All right, I'm going to put it there so it doesn't look so similar. All right, this is going to be an abbreviated session plus, besides, plus, something like that. It's, my back is still sore. So I'm not going to be back here as long as it's going to take to do all of this stuff. Okay, any other small ones? Needlepoint. Oh, that fits there. Good, good, good. And the reason you can hear the sandhill cranes too is for the first time this year, I have windows really open. I've had them cracked once or twice, but they're open, which also means you get to hear traffic and neighbors, and a street sweeper went by before I turned this on, and so who knows? All right, too big. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I can squeeze that under there, okay. Is 
Not quite. Maybe. This needs more glue though now. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, that's a little gluey. I have some dogs. I don't know if they'll fit here. This one might. Not. <laughs> okay, not. Not. Not this one. Um, that's okay. I don't know, it leaves a weird space there. Well, I'll worry about that some other day. Nobody is going to know what I'm talking about. Doesn't it a little bit look like the dog in Garfield Goose, the puppet? And I can't remember his name. Is it, I'm going to say Beauregard, but I'm not sure if that's right. I'll have to look that up. And if you're not from my area, I don't, you've never heard of that TV show. It's an old kid's show. You know, like a morning thing before you go to school. Okay, gluey. I don't have any Christmas, thankfully. I have a cat that got kind of buried over here somewhere. Oh, two. Oh, the cranes are back. Can you hear? I like that. Okay. And yes, we hear the cranes in the spring when they're coming back and then in the fall when they're leaving. So when you hear them in the fall, it's kind of depressing. <laughs> and when you hear them in the spring, it's a lot nicer. And when you hear weird truck brakes, <laughs> it's kind of silly. All right, this other cat. I don't know if he or she is too big. Might be because it doesn't show up. All right, that's going to go somewhere else. I have little flags. They're out of a newspaper ad. Oh, well, that's forcing. All right, we'll see about the uh, new book. Black and white, I had cat clock, here it is, clocks, okay, yeah, we're supposed to be near 70 today, it's not that yet, but that will feel nice, that'll be the warmest day to date for this year. tail is stuck. Come here. Yeah. Okay, good. We saved it. be it for this one it is at the moment let's look at it that one all right let's see if I can get the other one down without bumping the camera or the light that seems highly unlikely and I have to move the light what happens when you turn the camera on so you can hear Sam Hill Crane okay well this was for the cover I just thought this was so silly this is not a hotel it was part of an ad for I don't know what, but I just thought it was funny. And this is not a hotel, it's a glue book. So it's correct. It doesn't quite fit. 
What about up here? Yeah. So I'll straighten up this crooked word a little bit. Okay, good. Okay, do I have fonts marked anywhere here? I don't see that I do. Okay, we'll just take it from here. <laughs> I still think I need to rewrite those. I, it, I can't read them at a glance. I didn't even think of that when I was writing them. Ice cream. Fine. And the word ice cream. Okay. And make a fun ice cream treat. Well, that's okay. I don't know if you can see that. But this is a space that could be used for other purposes. All right, that's fine, except I schmutzed on there. Oh, no, that was on there. All right, whatever. Not my fault. Okay, I do have USA besides these flags. It's part of a work basket cover. Oh, that's good. All right, I'll glue that in by myself since that's larger. Okay, why not? So I imagine it's getting to be more springy where my U.S. viewers are, right? I must say, though, and I'm sure there's people that are going to argue with me, but this winter wasn't too bad where I, where I live. So really, it kind of seemed like spring came earlier this year. Usually, us Midwesterners are waiting for it, like, forever. It just never comes. And, uh, this year wasn't too bad. Oh, well, I don't know. There's a little dragon somewhere. I'll find it later. All right, Snoopy. I forgot I came across this. It's a Japanese postage stamp. Isn't that cool? And then there was a, I think it was a rug. Believe it or not, you need an Easter Snoopy rug right now. All right, what about that? Can you guys see? No. Okay. Now, way back somewhere, I said I'm not going to, but I should do a compilation video of me saying. You know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Can you guys see? That would be another phrase, right? Okay, where should the stamp go? Can you see now? Oh, I don't know. Um... Well, what about over there? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Somebody doing something. Yeah, I just... 
If you don't like background noise, and I don't, you're just going to have to go to someone else's channel. I just can't escape it where I live. All right, I have a lot of chocolate, and I didn't even realize I could have two of these. So I don't know if I'm going to nix one. This one isn't as shot as nicely. Well, okay, that's fine. I like that. Get your cranes again. By the way, as long as we're all gathered here, I might as well mention a couple Etsy notes. Um, one is their fees are going up for their part of the take. And so I may go up in my prices just a little. I may not. I don't know. But that's one thing. Uh, another part of that was I just I kind of wanted to explain the star seller thing because they do not in my opinion they do not make this clear to buyers at all it's um let me find chocolate the other chalk there we go I have been a seller since or star seller since uh, October or something uh, quite a long time you know that's nice has it helped my sales at all absolutely not um hmm do you want to do something like that because this is a little okay we'll do that and i'll cut this angle i'm not sure if i'm going to make it for next month because you know they're from what they're sort of showing the star seller is based on superior customer service. Yeah, well, they don't say it also is based on how much you're selling. You have to have at least $300 worth of sales within their time frame. And I think it has to be at least 10 sales, too. I may not make that this time. So, you know, it's just in my case, and in any other shop too I am speaking for so if they have a star and then all of a sudden you notice they don't have a star don't think they did something wrong <laughs> it may just be something like that that they didn't make the sales amount that Etsy is requiring and they don't say that anywhere so I don't think that's really fair my opinion of course oh that's kind of neat okay so there. I'd also, as a, just a little amusing footnote, I, I don't, I'm not going to remember the exact wording, but if you go to a shop that has a star, it, it says in this little print something about, uh, this seller consistently gets five star ratings, ships quickly, something like that, and responds quickly to any messages they got something like that. <laughs> it's like I read that on my show I contacted them and said politely said that's awfully awkward phrasing any messages they they might have got is something like that it's like all you have to do is say any messages and of course I got a reply that was sort of uh you know, I'll pass that along to the correct party so I would don't expect any big change real soon <laughs> but I could believe that they might have got I don't know okay that's you're up to speed on Etsy-ness was an old ad for Baker's chocolate
You know, Diane, watching you cut a hair off that paper is not too interesting. I know, I'm sorry. Well, do we want it across? I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to think about that. What about this? This was part of that ad. It's Baker's Chocolate. Hmm. Well, let's take a second and see if it would go in this book. We have to find it first. There we go. This is almost done, in my opinion. I thought I was trying to find something like for there, but not that. Okay, now it doesn't fit. Okay. I don't know about that either. Okay, <laughs> I've got pink and orange. Or in this case, it's actually pink. It's funny. It's a pack of fun craft projects book. And then a peony. And this was just art in a magazine. I don't remember what that was. If that was art too? I think it was. Well, all right, that can go there. And my neighbor is drilling, or not, not drilling, screw gunning. Hmm. Well, okay, that's pretty. I like that. Well, that's kind of cute. All right, let me take a break as long as he's drilling. I'm going to glue this stuff in, see how much time we're taking here, and then come back and either wrap up or I'll do some more gluing. Okay, just a minute. Okay, I am back. The cranes are kind of back out there. I thought I would just show, because we're over 20 minutes now, I'm going to start a new thing, umbrellas, mainly because I found this ad. And at great risk of dating myself, and I'm sure you all know I'm not 25 by now anyway, I had a bubble umbrella when I was a kid. So I had that cut out, and then I came across this lady, and I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll do an umbrella thing. Not that I'm really into that or anything, but it was kind of cute. And then these two were out of that paper book I've been using lately. Okay, I'm going to do that, and as long as I see it, that little dragon let's find the dragon page and then I will sign off for now I still have a lot to do here so I don't know if I'll make another video or just do it I don't know I you know as long as I've been doing this I still I don't know what people want to see I don't know if you like this stuff I don't know Okay, right down there. Can you see that? I think so. All right, and here's where cranes come again. Okay, can you hear them? All right, guys, thanks for joining me and my cranes today. Have a nice day out there.